Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate battery load testing and usage of a carbon pile load tester to evaluate battery strength and condition. I have two batteries here. The one on the left was taken out of my Honda over a year ago due to issues that I no longer believe to be the battery's fault. Uh, the battery on the right is the battery I am currently using in the Honda and is still working without a problem. It has taken its share of abuse and probably no longer has the strength indicated on its factory sticker, but it still does start up the car without a problem. I haven't used the old battery in some time, so it may be bad by now, as it was sitting at uh, 10 points uh, something volts at the time I brought, brought it out for testing with the carbon pile load tester. It's a uh, factory rated rating is uh, 640 cold cranking amps. 640 CCA and the new, newer battery Seven hundred CCA and one hundred and thirty minutes reserve capacity. So I have charged the old battery up, and let's see what it's uh, what it tests at right now on the voltmeter. Twelve point eight eight volts. There you go. Uh, that should be enough to start the car, and if it's uh, if it doesn't, it's very likely weak battery, and we'll check that further on the carbon pile load tester. But that's where we're at right now, and I'm going to go out and take this out to the car, see if it starts. Here is the old battery installed in the car, and it is currently measuring at... 12.85 volts. Let's see if this battery starts the car. Okay, so the battery did start, and there we're getting 14.69, and that's actually the charging voltage. That's what's coming out of the alternator right now. So the car currently has the old battery that I had uh, previously taken out of service, and I had charged it up. The voltage on it looks good. It, it did start the car um, easily the first time last night. I took it to the gym. But it did get the car started and it got me home. It's been uh, nearly 24 hours uh, since then. I'm going back to the gym and now going to see if this car can start on that battery. And it looks like it's having problems. It doesn't want to start. I did bring my uh, regular battery back with me, the one I normally use. So I'm ready to put that in the car right now. Yeah, so there's my old Die Hard. It, uh, even if you charge it up, it just doesn't do the job. I'll be taking it out of the car and checking its voltage. So here's my old battery again, the one that failed to start the car last night. I'm going to check its, uh, its voltage straight out of the car. I've got uh, negative lead clamped on through the lead of the carbon pile tester, but it's, it's going to read the same. 12.71 volts. That should be great to get the car started, yet it did not start the car as shown in the last clip. So there you go, a battery with uh, apparently good voltage reading that cannot start a car. Now we're gonna run this through the, vol uh, the uh, carbon pile tester again to see how well it uh, can hold up its uh, 300 amp load.
clamped on. There's a volt reading about the same. Looks like 12.6, 12.7. And it's not reading anything. Yet I believe it is frying the battery. Don't feel any heat up here. Try this again. No load, no currents, no connection. Connecting again. There's a reading still. It's a bit lower, still about 12.6. Let's crank this. Nothing happening on the amp scale, and voltage is dropping significantly. So the, um, the, the amperage reading on the carbon pile tester was not moving at all. I did see the voltage on the battery dropping, and I'm going to take this out to my good battery uh, and see if there's anything possibly wrong with the, the tester. Where are we at here right now? Voltage reading still good. It is a bit lower, so... Apparently some, you know, battery was doing something, or basically something happened to the battery. 12.71 before, 12.62 now. So here's the Duralast battery that replaced the Die Hard battery that was uh, over to the left of it. I took it out of my car after a little drive, and it is sitting at 12.83 volts. Now I'm going to run this through the carbon pile load tester and see if it can hold the Honda's minimum test specification for a good battery test. That's supposed to be 300 amps for 15 seconds. The carbon pile load tester has um, two meters on it. One is a voltmeter, the other one tells you uh, current, amp, current amp draw. Also gives you an estimated amp hour rating and the estimated cold cranking amp rating of the of the battery as it is being tested as opposed to what's what its sticker says this gauge will tell you what the current uh, capability of the battery is uh, we're going to be focusing on the top scale of amps the large markings are marked every 50 amps with each smallest uh, interval between markings on this scale being representing 10 amps. So for example, there's uh, 10 markings from 200 to 300. So every every interval represents 10 amps. Uh, to get started, we're going to connect this negative lead from the carbon pile tester, put it on this negative lead or negative post of the battery terminal, and then take the positive, positive uh, lead and put that on the positive terminal and then get up here and start cranking this knob to the right until we get up to the 300 uh, amp mark and the battery should hold that for 15 seconds. 
Now this is a 700 pole cranking amp rated battery. Technically it should be able to hold 350 amps for 15, 15 seconds. I'm only going to 300 because apparently that's what Honda says is what is required to start the 92 Honda Accord automatic. So let's get started. There's your reading. That's about 12.8 volts right now and there's no load on it. Let's start cranking up the load. As you heard, the uh, the tester did uh, sound off a bell at the 15 second mark, which is uh, what the maximum length of time you're supposed to run the test for. Of course, the moment you put the leads on the battery is not the moment that you are actually testing with the current load that you are intending to test with. I took as much time as I needed or got up to the test load as quickly as I could, the 300 uh, amps, and held it held it there at that point for 15 seconds. You are supposed to wait at least a minute in between tests and not more than three tests in five minutes. Uh, it is recommended that you turn this down first and then disconnect the battery, or at least that's what the instructions say. And actually that's the instructions for the Harbor Freight Tester. The, the instructions on this, uh, this model here, not purchased from Harbor Freight, I actually got this from Amazon. Um, I don't think they go into any detail about that. Uh, I did just immediately pull the lead off of the battery. Uh, hopefully that's not actually a bad thing. But uh, as far as I could tell, the battery did hold the load and it was actually at 300 amps for 15 seconds. Um, so I have been drawing from the battery. It was at 12.85 uh, amps at the time, or excuse me, 12.85 volts. And let's check to see what the current uh, voltage of the battery is. Now, now down to about 12.6, maybe 12.59. That's actually actually where the battery is supposed to be for testing to start a test. And uh, for that reason, I'm going to run this test again. Uh, I, I might give the uh, load tester another minute's uh, rest, and we're going to run this test again. Running the second test now on my battery that I normally use for my car. It's been doing fine. It's currently at a resting voltage of about 12.6 and I'm going to raise the amperage load to 300 amps and hold it there for 15 seconds. The battery held 285 amps at 9.8 volts 15 seconds after starting to raise the load on the battery to 300 amps and 275 amps at 9.6 volts after 15 seconds of actual 300 amp draw. Technically this fails Honda's specification for testing yet the battery has not demonstrated any problems with starting the car. Perhaps this means a mechanic would tell me to replace the battery but I'm going to continue using this battery until it actually fails to start the car like the old one failed to do so. Does this mean that the tester or test is worthless? As we saw earlier in the video, the old battery failed to start the car and on the tester the current meter didn't even move. 
I did test the meter again on the good battery and the tester was able to provide a reasonable current and voltage measurement for the battery as it had already done several times before on that same good battery. Out at the car now, this is the same carbon pile tester that was not uh, showing any uh, readings on the amperage meter when I was testing the old bad battery just now. So now I'm running it again on the current use good battery and check, first checking voltage on that battery. 12.82 volts since its last drive and now going to uh, attach the tester and see see if it uh, produces readings on the meters. Okay, so first disconnect this, take the voltmeter off. And uh, notice I have uh, disconnected I've disconnected the uh, battery leads. just seemed like a good idea. Battery leads are off and not touching the battery or anything. This should be, this is down. Connected. Voltage reading, it's about 12.8. No load, let's crank it. Point two. So I held 300 amps at voltage of 10.2. So it looks like the, the battery is fine and the carbon pile tester is fine. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you to understand the usage of a carbon pile load tester to assess whether or not a car battery has the ability to properly do its job.